field lining up set to go for race 11 the heavyweight division free for all pacers for the five hundred thousand dollar breeders crown final here they come And they're off, Armbro Proposal is firing out and so is Cam Motion as Moisef has the gas pedal down there. Armbro positive from the inside. He's stepping out there alertly so is Gallup Blue Chip. Into the first turn, it's Cam Motion to the front. Armbro Proposal up on the outside with Gallo Blue Chip. Armbro positive now settles in the fourth spot. Intrepid Sealster got away well. He is fifth heading to the opening quarter. Memphis Flash is racing sixth. Royal Flash Hanover is seventh. Goliath Bayama eighth at this point. Then it's Day in a Life and Life Source. First quarter, 26 and four-fifths. Down the back stretch, and Gallo Blue Chip grabs the top. Gallo Blue Chip and Dan Dubé by a length and a half. Armbro Proposal in the second spot. Cam Ocean third as Dubé tries to slow things down here and ration out the speed of Gallo Blue Chip. But Parker's not content with it, and here comes Armbro, positive. He'll go on the attack and force the issue. Intrepid Sealster trying to follow him, fourth on the outside. And now Cam Ocean is locked in fifth past the half. Royal Flash Hanover gets into the flow now, sixth. Memphis Flash is seventh, and it's Goliath by Emma. Day in a life, and life source. The half was 54-1, and one, and they're locking up in a duel. They are inseparable, stride for stride here. Gallup Blue Chip on the rail. Armbro positive on the outside. What an epic struggle here as they open up by three on Armbro Proposal. As they pass three quarters, Intrepid Sealster inches his way up now, and he is third on the outside. Behind him is Royal Flush Hanover. Three quarters, one, 20, and one. They're in the stretch drive, and Gallo won the battle so far. Gallo Blue Chip got rid of Armbro, positive. He's trying to hang in there. Here's Campbell, and he's rousing Intrepid Sealster on the outside. Gallo Blue Chip getting leg weary on the outside of Intrepid Sealster. Here comes the light by Emma, and on the inside, Campbell. The seventh father and son combo to win a breeder's crown, Sylvain Filion. His father, Eve Filion, the trainer. Owned by the NDG farm, Serge Godin, a horse owner for more than 20 years. Has been partners with breeder owner Eve Filion for four years. Sylvain Filion coming from one of the greatest harness racing families in the sport, the Filions. His father, Eve, is a trainer and driver who conditioned 1988 North America Cup winner, Runny Mead Lobel. Bayama Farm, the farm of Eve Filion. And it is still unofficial. 148 and four-fifths as he shaves a full second off his previous best time, a career best for this son of Abercrombie out of Topaz Blue Chip by Big Towner. Third victory of the season for Goliath by Emma, and he becomes Harness Racing's newest millionaire. Congratulations to all. And we'll likely see more of Goliath Bayama in the U.S. Pacing Championship on Hamiltonian Day. We'll do it all over again. In the upcoming 12th race, we have no changes with exacta trifecta. We will get winner's circle reaction from the winning connections. A great win for Quebec and for the Filion family today. Well, we've had so quite an international flavor today. Sweden swept all three Hamiltonians. Italy took the trot, and there were three Canadian horses in the race, and they finished one, two, three. And one of Canada's proudest sons is here, Sylvain Filion. Sylvain, tell us a little bit about the early part of the race here. Tell us, Goliath, my armor, where were you? Well, I took him off uh, the gate, and I was just hoping to uh, get some flow. 
and uh, luckily that's what happened. During a 26 flat third quarter, where were you during that buzzing uh, fast number there? I was uh, third or fourth over, and uh, I liked those fractions though. You've sat close to uh, Gallup Blue Chip later earlier this year. You missed a nose. Was your strategy in this race to come from off the pace? Yeah, the way he raced uh, last week, I thought that this week he could uh, maybe do it. Okay, now coming into the stretch here, we had a wild stretch drive on the wire here. How much did you have to get after your horse, and did you think you had it won? Well, I was pretty confident uh, at the head of the stretch, but uh, halfway through I was kind of worried a bit, and he dug in late and he uh, held on. The horse has been good for a couple of years now. Race against the Panda Rosa, race last year. He's now five. He's over a million. What about the plans for him? Uh, we'll keep uh, racing him.